Gytham, is it? Yes. What's going on, assassins? Today, we get to meet a special group that you already know. We don't know them as assassins, we know them as the hidden ones. I'm Dark Shot of the YouTube Assassin. Let's get into some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So before we start any of that mess, we started off where we were back in our hometown and we were wandering around just seeing like what we've got here. We've got all kinds of things. We've got shops, we've got dice games, we've got the uh, flight, the, the guy doing the flighting, which looks like a rap battle, but it's actually very useful. This guy, he does tattoos and anytime you find new tattoos, you could bring it to him and you could get your tattoos done. Uh, you could also get your hair done here, which is kind of weird. But here's uh, the tattoos. Like you could just change them around. You could make whatever you want. You could go with whatever things he's got there. And like I said, as you go through the towns, you're going to run around. You're going to find that there are these pages, the, these page icons just laying around. When you find those page icons, those are actually the tattoos. So as you find them, you'll see that you've got like some little like stash of paper or whatnot. Just bring it to any of your tattoo parlors and they'll put it all together. And you'll see you'll be able to uh, do all kinds of stuff here. And uh, some of these tattoos are like really cool. And then, of course, there's the hair. You could dye the hair. You could shave your head. I'm pretty sure there'll be other hairstyles as well. I don't know how it affects the male Ivor. When we get to the male Ivor, we'll put that on as well. Basically, I let the Animus decide, and at certain points, it's going to switch me back and forth from female to male. And hopefully, there's a reason behind that, and we'll see that. So that was the tattoo guy. You could get your whatever new tattoos. There's other people around here too. The flighting guy, he uh, increases your charisma every time you find anybody who you could flight with. Then over here, here's the armorer, which is really good. That's what I call my farts, the thunderclap of Thor. Well, for some time, I forged this weapon, Don Echo. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future... Bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. So this guy will definitely enhance your gear. Anytime you find certain materials, he'll be able to forge it. And it looks like it gets better and better. Whereas right now, this I guess would be like the rare version of it. And then... The next would be, I guess, the epic version. It could be flawless. And then some of the items actually become mystical, which are like legendary. And I'll show you a bunch of those later. It's pretty wild. Like all these, you see, these are like the regular versions of them. So it's fine. The next step up is superior. The next step up after that is, you know, that silver thing. And then... It, it also changes the appearance, which is kind of wild. I wonder if you could actually, if we're going to have something kind of like Odyssey, where we could make it look like whatever other gear we want. Although a lot of this gear is great.
So of course it, it makes it stronger. It gives you more ticks of health in some cases. Uh, it adds critical attack and critical chance sometimes. So you really have to figure out what you want to do and you really have to have the material in order to upgrade this stuff. You don't want to just upgrade it all willy-nilly. You want to like actually do stuff with it. And then they also gain sockets so that you could place runes. Now runes are what's going on in place of the engravings. Rather than engravings, you'll find rune stones. You could put the rune stones in there. I don't know if you could increase the power of the rune stones, like combine them or something. We'll find out though. I just fast forwarded so that, that way we could get to some other things that are going on. I could speak to Volka first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. So I try to talk to the king. I can't talk to the king. What I have to do now is actually go and speak to the seer. So she said if you have any other business, go and talk to the seer. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go talk to Valka and we'll just do that now instead of like Showing you the running all the way up the mountain and stuff like that. So I just wanted you to see what was going on. I wanted you to see where we were on the map. And then we're up here and we're speaking to Valka who is the seer. She wants a ham on rye. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Swala. She gives praises and she is greeted. I guess her mother was a seer as well. Oh, ancient ones. Great Odin. Great Freya. I give you thanks for your gift of saying. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. A private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jump. Yeah, she's seeing ghosts or whatever. I fear her final winter has come. She has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I... I have had a vision. It may have been my battle lost or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came up fast. There was a wolf, howling and fierce. Figure. There's that dream she keeps having. A single eye. He bid me follow him. The high one. He calls to you. Perhaps he needs to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Sator will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir. She gonna get you high, girl. And unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. Yeah, she gonna get you high. You're going to see delusions. This is it, kids. This is why you don't do drugs. You get a tummy ache, and then you'll see a loading screen. And then have visions. And you don't want that. It's not fun. This was actually pretty weird. Hmm? I saw nothing, Volka. 
felt nothing. Harvey! She thinks that she's fine. She's really not. She thought that nothing happened, like she just passed out and got back up. Brother, when did you arrive? There's the wolf again. Again, a lot of different wolf symbolism here. Meanwhile, they're the Raven Clan. The Wolf Clan is supposedly uh, that, that guy in the first episode. His people. Those evil uh, Vikings. following him and this wolf. This is like crazy. talking about Yeah, these visions were really crazy. Real crazy visions. Just stayed there watching her sleep. What was that? Tell me everything. I, I was on a mountain in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are it kind of was. Fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition or your fear. saw the gates to Odin's hall of slain champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My memories are faint, hazy. Pretty wild. It's the summit of this mountain. I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was been terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I woke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. 
He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their... I wonder why she no, believes that Ivor is going to betray Sigurd. Right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. That's just weird. Now Ivor's worried. Now, the king has called oh, now I warped all the way back down to see if I could speak to the king. And hopefully we can. Which we can. Gonna face the thunder. Excellent, King's Chief. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the May the winds favor your voyage, Gizvarma. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. <laughs> you know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with me, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances, waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed? Have any allies to speak of, or is that your excuse to do nothing? Ivor is kind of hard on him. Blinds you to so much in plain sight. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then you will understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Ivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Harry. <laughs> Your father was a fine man, just and loyal to me. He died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go. Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. Kind of wild. Sigurd has come. Down at the docks, his ship is here. Well, now we get to meet Sigurd. Much older Sigurd. Not Ivor's actual brother, but. They, they took him in, so... Those look familiar. The hidden ones. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're 
standing safely beside him. He must like you. Ah, oh, Edward. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wool Kissed was captured by Kyotr's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. For that, your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyotr from our lands. But he disagrees. Monsieur, by the winter's end, the name Kyotr the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son, welcome home. Ah, uh, father. She looks so much like Cassandra. What if we find out she really is Cassandra? That would be wild. And why does the time have to be right? This is like kind of crazy. When will the time be right? Just to be sure, we'll talk to the other people around here first. Grandi. Eivor, have you paid a visit to Volka? I did, and... It is not something I can speak on, or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight with your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband return? Of course. But it has been so long, he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> now that's love. Farts and honeyed breath. Interesting. Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. Oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornburg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm. We shall see. I don't know why he's so distrusting of, of Ivor. It's kind of weird. Oh, 
Python, is it? Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this rat So this is one of the we tend to drink and talk people from the hidden ones. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes, but the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week, but always I am with my mentor. For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. But if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's meat. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. So that's the student, and this is the master over here. You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no mead. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm, a celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting, but I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me, as if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. I'd love to see their homeland. We've seen a little bit of it when we get to Ezio's timeline where he actually visits Constantinople. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of him. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? To my first night in Fornburg, you know, two winters. It must end with me soaked and wall eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringu. Now drink. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start. <laughs> It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a heart longing to return at once. Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds in much of their homeland. Mm -hmm. the they are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. I will give one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. Then he doesn't look happy. The master is okay with it. The student is not. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist plate is a sacred tool. Don't make a fetish out of cold metal, Hyper. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. Maybe he understood the stories that Sigmund told him. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. <laughs> Like it. So without using it on the under underneath the uh, arm, 
how is she using it? That's a very unique hidden blade too. Can't believe the hidden blade is back. That is what everybody wanted. Has a name. Indeed. But among the tenets of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more. Not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. I love this. Teaching you to do the uh, whole, teaching you how to use the hidden blade. Something we've sorely missed. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. Take that one down from the ledge. I love this. You could do all the original assassinations. Ledge assassinations, like leaping assassinations, air assassinations. Love it. We definitely needed this back. We definitely, I, I can't believe we went two years without this. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. So wild. Hmm. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Exactly, just like that. So wild. We're back. We're back to Assassin's Creed. seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. They have learning to. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Vasim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. He's been gone way too long. For good. What do you mean to join this shadow brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Eric. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship, our clan, our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. You flatter me, old guest. Keep it up. <laughs> Here to Valhalla, I will always be at your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, they're gonna raid them all? build a kingdom for us I'm with you only say the word good get some rest and return here in first light kind of crazy 
<clears throat> I wonder if he intends to like actually go and raid all those other areas. That that's why he's mentioning them. This is kind of crazy. Found that guy. All you got to do is like use your raven, look in that area there, go there. Here they go, they're plotting. Take that fool out. I love playing like an assassin now. That's going to be wild. That's all I'm going to do. Yeah, definitely. They were plotting to kill him. Let him know. this insult. They came from Notfall, that wailing village under Chutley's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kyrtle learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search... No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. Lee, do you mean to join us? So the master's coming and the student is gonna go and I have not been bred for like, kind of like look out Explore it. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. 
Well, that's kind of rude. Now again, we're going to fast forward so that, that way we don't have to deal with anything. You guys don't have to like waste time wondering what was going on or just watching me sail. I'm going to go directly there. See, I thought we were going to go to his main camp. That's not his main camp. We're going to go to this other spot. On this little island over there. He's got like a really wild speech here. So you say. Now this I love. I love that you could just upgrade your stuff on the fly to a certain point and then you have to go directly to the blacksmith if you want to actually get, you know, like a, a, to a higher level. The gear is awesome. You can take gear and get it all the way to their version of Legendary, which is like mystical. This game has like wild, wild, wild life. Like it's just crazy. You can find foxes, you can find wolves, you can find like dire wolves, polar bears. There were like a couple of seals on a shore that I found one day. I was like, what in the hell? So wild. And another thing I want to say is that uh, what I want you to do is I want you to make sure that you follow your own path when you're doing this stuff. Whenever you follow like they were actually going to take me around the whole island there to get to like a point where it was closer so that's why i turned around that was just kind of crazy it's so insane so I had to turn around and get to like the, the point where we had to get and then we're going to raid this like settlement because it is one of Kotve's settlements and we're going to take out all his people. Oh, 
I kind of feel like those are seals that we're hearing. Like, they're all over the place. go and I will take out all these guys and when we see those carts you got to light them on fire You can light up everybody too, which is kind of crazy. Another like really wild thing is like how we keep finding all these like female Vikings in like the bad guys employ. That's that's kind of wild. I'm not even going to pretend I understand like Viking history or Viking lore. Uh, saw one YouTuber who thought that it was a stupid idea to even make Valhalla because Vikings were not good people. You know, they, they pillaged, they plundered, and they did things they weren't supposed to to women. And uh, I, I think that was like the basis for like his argument or one of his arguments against Valhalla. Like it was just a dumb idea. I think it's a great idea, honestly. Got different time periods and they bend history to their own needs. They're not giving you history as it happened or as it was. And that's what I try to explain to like a lot of people whenever I'm talking about, you know, present day versus the past. Really weird, weird stuff. Burning all his supplies, killing all his people. And I actually went through this prior. That's why you're not seeing anything else like laid around. What happens is that I like to make sure that I have absolutely everything done in the background before like you guys even see it. So that, that way you guys are not, you know, like bored to death or seeing me doing all kinds of like other things and whatnot it just makes these things longer so that's why i played through ahead of time and that's what i'm going to keep doing in the background playing stuff in the background but if you have questions about anything any quests or anything like that feel free to ask me and I'll try to like get videos out so that you guys could see how to do them Got to make sure everything is burned, everything is destroyed. Want to get all that out of the way. Hail Ravenclad! You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gesture? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthor, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew, and there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? Mm, I don't think he's contesting. My lord, thank you, uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harold. 
I don't think he's contesting it. I'm actually curious as to why he's offering his aid. I mean, his father did speak to this king's uncle earlier, but still, that's kind of weird. just kind of wild how this is folding out and this is only chapter three anyway i hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe it helps the channel out an awful lot as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. And until the next one, take care. Be sure to keep watching. We've got more coming. Definitely. This game is, is pretty hot. Not going to lie.